you guys race Daytona, you race Atlanta, and then you have a month off. Yeah. And and then you have another month off. So I mean, is it is it frustrating or does it test your patience the beginning of the season with with the schedule so backloaded the way it is? It is. It's trying, but you also have to appreciate the time off to to get trucks built to kind of work ahead because you know once it gets here, it's not going to stop until November. But in another way, you almost wish that it was spaced out a little better so that you know you might run two races, have a week off, two races, have a week off, and it was more consistent throughout the year. But it is what it is. We got to make the most of it. So I just appreciate the time, and you know we use all that time to go to the shop, we go to the wind tunnel, we had a testing session, we go to the Toyota simulator. We do as much as we can, and we take advantage of. It the best we can to get prepared and work ahead because, like I said, once it gets here, it's here, and yeah. you don't really have enough time to work on the trucks at that point. So, do you guys kind of? I mean, obviously, the season starts at Daytona, you know, but Daytona is such a unique racetrack and, and, and you know, different than a lot of other tracks you race at other than Talladega during the year. So, do you kind of look at Kansas as, as really the start of the season in some ways? You know, it, you, you do, and it, you go to Daytona, like you said, Atlanta, Martinsville, and you're off so much time. I've actually referred to it as the start of season in, in several interviews, uh, just because it, you're finally having a consistent run, you're finally getting in the truck every week, and you're finally getting to work with your team every single week on making a setup better. One of the tough things about our series right now is, you know, we really don't get any testing sessions, so it makes it really tough to progress, especially during the off time, because you're just working on different packages, but you don't get to really test them out until you get to Kansas yeah um, you know so is it hard to establish any rhythm these first couple months of the season I mean you know I mean and in, 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 I mean how or is rhythm overrated in, in auto racing you know rhythm's definitely not overrated I I think rhythm is very important and and developing a relationship with your team um, especially a new team you know while it is my second year with door sport racing it's my first year with safe flight auto glass on the truck and this on this tundra and it's the first year that i'm having all these new you know crew members that are on my team crew chief spotter everything is brand new uh so developing rhythm is huge for a new guy like me while i i appreciate that the time off perfect world I would rather be two and two and two yeah. and we could develop that rhythm you know it, it's just tough you know I, I definitely don't think rhythm's overrated though in racing because you need it it's just like all sports